Hey, we're gonna give you some tips on Kickstarter uh, removal and installation. I want you to understand that this has to be timed. So you're gonna see here real quickly that there's some alignment marks and the reason for that is, is that for this arm that holds this in place from coming off the engine case and then allows it to retract back down when we don't need it, we want to make sure and have enough tension on that spring. If we don't time this properly, that's where you might see the lever kind of flopping around or if we're off the other direction, it's way too difficult to install. So let's just show you that real quick. Your goal is to try and uh, just lift up and have it where it doesn't go flying. Go ahead and have this laid out in the correct orientation so that we can put these back in the in the right order here. When we kick the kickstarter this springs up and then engages in here and you're going to see in a second here when we test that to make sure that it's working you see how it just uh, locks in there what i want you to notice here take a look here at the sh kickstarter shaft itself and you'll see that dimple right there and then what you need to be looking for and this is on any type of kickstart vehicle to have this aligned properly you can see the little dimple in there sometimes this spring goes in between you need to look at the order for your vehicle here, okay? So on this particular one, I want to go ahead and line these two up. And then I'm going to double check myself here. You can see my two dimples are lined up there, right across there, okay? On this particular one, we have a spring that seats on here. And then down in the engine case, we've got another washer here. This is pretty important too because we don't want this spring to dig into the engine case. So let's work on installing it now. I'll grab your radiator tool pick. You can go ahead and hook it around. Okay. Don't quit right here. Here's what you have to do next. This, okay, as I go up here, you see it rotates. What you want to check for is that when you let go of it, that it'll free will. If it's not free willing, you're probably not seated all the way or something's not right. So think about this for a second. The crankshaft is always spinning, right? The clutch basket is always spinning. Okay, that means that this idler gear is attached to the back of the clutch basket. It is always spinning. If this isn't freewheeling, you're gonna have that ratching effect. If you ever have it where you're messing with this and you get some type of ratching effect when it's running, it means that this Kickstarter gear has not retracted all the way. It's either binding or caught or something. Don't wait until it's all the way together to have to take it all the way back apart. Think about, it. would you have to drain the oil? Yep. Yep. possibly a new gasket it's a whole bunch of work so my suggestion is you check your work now make sure it's good to go life is going to be good that's my tip of the day for all your kick shaft mechanisms as we always say keep wrenching seriously just nuts and bolts all right make it a great day folks i hope you found this video useful if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet would you please do so also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos as I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.